Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the X Force Global channel. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Hope you all had a fantastic weekend. Back with another Bitcoin analysis diving right back into the current range we are in and still sticking with the original narrative that we have is the possibility of a larger ranging triangle being built here now i am starting to build a little bit of a higher conviction here because we are starting to break above so this idea still remains true and i think that this current play um although a triangles are a bit rare in nature is that we have a few pieces of evidence, and I've mentioned this in the previous video for my macro analysis, that we do have that 200 moving average, which is the most critical trendsetter and um, kind of uh, moving average in terms of the larger time frames that also coincides or intertwines with this possible triangle idea. So my thesis is still working within this possible triangle idea that has the highest conviction, although we don't have that possible subwave D being built. So we do have a lot of variations in between here in this current triangle. I mean, we can sit here all day and talk about what is the double zigzag uh, in terms of the WXY. But for the time being, if we are able to currently fit in a valid ABC for each of the subwaves of this current structure here, we want to be validating this as much as we can in terms of simple zigzags. But as a triangle can have one complex structure, right now we just do not know if this is going to be turning into a complex structure or not. So with the data given, what we want to do is just kind of fit in as many simple zigzags as we can as this current triangle continues to be being built. So for the time being, we have this possible A, B, C, possibly even a triangle being built here as an A, B, C. But again, it doesn't matter. Um, we could fit this as an impulse structure, although it's not the best looking. So if that's the case, we have one larger A, B, C being built here. Again, the macro perspective is that we're creating threes here. It doesn't really matter about the internal counts. And what matters is if we're going to be creating another series of threes. Now here, I did give my use case study on why this could be a long wave A or a wave W and B and a C and with a short wave C or a short wave w, uh, Y is that we've dis discussed this before, before when we were talking about this larger flat range that we created before the mega bull run happened. So if this is the current flat case, we had a possibility of a larger long wave A, B, C, because that's the only way that I was able to count this wave B of this internal flat. So what this means is that we had a large wave A, B, and then a short wave C. So there's no real inconsistencies in terms of the validation. As long as it's valid, it's absolutely fine. So this current scenario right now, I think that we can fit in absolutely an ABC in here. Again, alternatively, we can see this as a zigzag being created here. I do kind of like that idea actually uh, a little bit better. I did have this originally as a wave W and this as a wave, uh, oh, sorry, X, and then a wave Y here. That can also be alternatively a WXY scenario here. So if that's the case, what we can do here is fit in another ABC here and then give us a little bit of more room in terms of the development. If this development turns into a possible ABC, 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 this could be turning into a WXY alternatively, and we've already, we're one step ahead that these are now utilized as um, simple zigzags. So again, we if this does turn into a possible impulse and then sh um, shoot back and then we do another impulse and that could be the ABC, what we can do is kind of go back into he this range here and then alternatively label these that have a better look. I mean, you can alternatively say that this is a better looking zigzag and just say that this is a wave W if this turns out to be a possible uh, complex correction. So. We could sit here all day and talk about what is going to be the most complex um, wave count. Um, I, I know that there are possibilities where uh, wave, the internal wave counts of the triangle uh, usually have higher tendency to be extended in time or possibly have more complex uh, corrections within. But for the time being, as the triangle is being built, we want to be utilizing as best as we can with simple zigzags because it does give us a little bit of room to help build that thesis. So this triangle idea, again, we're going to be looking for the subwave D. This still, this idea is still being validated. We are, have the first few steps in terms of how this is going to be created. Now, I haven't done a, a really micro time frame count here, but for the time being, this does look like a three-way being built here. And again, the hybridness or the actionary waves of the hybrid scenarios is that if this is a wave A, this can alternatively be a wave one. This can alternatively be a wave two. And if we do break above the equality of this wave A to C against this wave one to one, or the 100%, is that if this turns into an impulse, 
and turns into a five wave move, we have even more confidence that this may be the beginning of a wave A, B, and a C into that wave D. So it's really tricky right now in terms of how we can say that this range is going to be created. But in terms of this, since we do have a wild range that we've been creating since March, I do think that this scenario has a lot of um, merit in terms of combining a lot of the other indicators that I've mentioned in the previous video as well, the 200 moving average uh, on the daily that has the highest support or is the highest uh, sought out kind of moving average that many people look at, even if you're not versed in technical analysis. So this idea is still on the table. Now, zooming in, we have the possibility of a diagonal being created as well. Now, there's a lot of merit to this scenario as well in terms of how we can be creating it. It's because we do have the termination of the wave four here. Now, we have this idealized as a double zigzag scenario. Nothing wrong with that. We have a possible three, four being completed. And the most important thing for here is that we're just working with a narrative that a wave five is still being created. And in terms of a wave five, the only way that we can be creating it is an ending diagonal or an impulse idea. So what we have here is the possible diagonal idea, which means we're still utilizing this as the possible A, B, C, even as a WXY, it's completely fine because you can have complex structures or complex WXYs, zigzags within a diagonal in itself. So if that's the case, we're still looking for the idea that we're going to be working a little bit stronger in the short term, and then this idea starts to become corrective in nature via the hybridness of actionary and reactionary waves in between the diagonal is that we're going to be looking for these pullbacks and going forward, this is going to eventually creating a possible contracting look. Now, this is lower down in the spectrum of probabilities because um, the diagonal is just it's a pretty tricky one to count. But Again, we just don't know until nothing is invalidated. This idea, if in the fact that we do break above, we have this idea to cushion on that it's going to be even more bullish, that we create a new high, and then we come back into the range one more time, create this overall looking diagonal, and that'll complete our fifth wave. Now, again, the biggest merit to this, like I've said, is that this has been terminated for a wave four and working for a wave five, and that will be the end all be all type of scenario for all of the current range that we've been creating since the beginning of 2023 for this bull run. So this idea is still kind of being worked upon now, the other idea is the more ambitious one, two idea that I do believe also has high merit because it does help divide our scenarios and also still works with the idea that this wave four has been terminated. So in this case, the biggest merit in terms of the current range we are in is that we are utilizing this as a five way move because originally we've been looking for this to be the beginning of some kind of larger impulse anyways, right? So if that's the case, then this one, two, three, four, five becomes the biggest merit here. And I still think that this has a lot of merit but the biggest problem here is whether we are seeing this as the deepest one two or not so it's kind of going back and forth are we utilizing this whole thing as a range where we're going back with extreme wild swings or are we seeing this as a possible one two being created with a deeper one two retesting that 886 and right now we have met that zone perfectly into the deepest golden fib level that is susceptible acceptable for a wave two any further would be suspected of breaking the previous low of course but we haven't done so. And right now I do that thinking that if that scenario or the hybrid scenario um, utilizing this as the actionary wave as a wave A, this scenario now utilizes the wave um, up as a wave one, two, possibly, we just don't know again, to creating that wave three, four possibility creating. And then if this is the fifth wave, this will be creating that wave one that we're going to be looking for another pullback see where there, uh, the fibonacci level of this range will be creating and get supported on and then further continuation to the upside for this larger primary wave three so as you can see a lot of these scenarios is not just a matter of if it will go up it's a matter of when and that's the key point here ladies and gentlemen we are kind of dissecting the you know or observing the middle time uh, or the medium time frames and see how these micro time frames are developing into what could be a possible range or a possible further continuation based on the demand of the markets so there's really no point in terms of you know kind of comp um, making sure that we're utilizing the scenario as best as we can but most important is don't need to complicate it they are here i've already uncomplicated it um basically i've been talking about i was the first one to even talk about a possible combination being built here where this could have been the actual w 
x y but again it's already developing into a series of many different type of scenarios here already so in that case we should be removing that idea that a wxy scenario is not in play anymore and we already have the problem of this being a possible abc within um as an expanded fly this is just way too long in time we've been talking about this for the longest time but again this price extreme here just doesn't make sense we haven't seen any type of double combo within bitcoin's price action history especially with the new price extreme being created in between um, i mean if it was shorter in time maybe if we created a fifth wave here then i would have possibly taken consideration but even then we really want to work with the simplicity of the theory and create um, different subsections within because it will develop into something else most likely. So that is the case here. Again, utilizing that this idea has terminated for wave four, we're utilizing this range here as a five wave move. And that is the biggest merit for this scenario, like I've said. And then a deep wave two, three, four, five, and so forth, which is going to be extremely bullish in the uh, months to come. So that's that. Now we do have the possibility of a bearish option here, but it is starting to look very odd here. I mean, we could even go back and just say that the leading spanning diagonal and just validate that wave one here if you're already looking like it's going to be invalidated. It looks like it's already being pretty darn close to being invalidated. So you see, there's a problem here where I don't even want to discuss the bearish scenarios until it actually starts to look bearish because we just need more data. This originally anticipated to be looking like a this right here could have been a wave one or a wave A, regardless of this diagonal idea. And this move here was pretty quite convincing. But I did mention in the previous video that we had so many fake outs that maybe it's just going to be a continued range. And that's why we had to go down and narrow down the idea as much as it's a little bit too early is that this idea is just starting to look less likely as well for the time being. It looks like it's trying to range and it, it, we are already starting to get that data here. And the key here that I mentioned here for a footnote that I mentioned is that we need to be extending our wave three, but it just doesn't look like it. I mean, I guess we could say that this is a deep wave two, but you know, exchanges breaking back and forth, even spot markets, has shown a break above this previous high. So really breaks down to either this being the validated top, that's the only way, ladies and gentlemen, which is a WXY, ABC, or a one, two, three, four, five. And this has to be the determination of some kind of count, regardless if it's a three wave or a five wave, as much as it doesn't have the best look. That's just the way it is sometimes, ladies and gentlemen. And that in itself could be creating the range. And when you zoom out, it looks good. So in terms of the bear scenario, we are very close to being invalidated here. I mean, again, we can force ourselves to go back and say that this is the wave one, have a little bit of a higher validation point for wave four. It just doesn't seem likely at this point. Um, again, if we're seeing this as a wave one too, I, at this point, if it's past the 90% and well beyond, and there's many charts that show past 100% of the previous wave, it's most likely that this is the termination point of a different count as much as we want to say that this is not a WXY or an ABC. So at this current stage of time, I don't want to be talking about or give any hope for the bears until we actually do start breaking a low here. So that is my current uh, thesis for the time being. Hopefully that was helpful. I do still think that we are going to be ranging for the time being, even if it's going to be here, because we can create one more low and then come back up. And that can be a part of a different structure that I have already shared in my premium members, uh, pre premium membership discord. Um, speaking of which, if you guys are interested in joining, please do contact me uh, the X force global discord membership. The link is in the description below. Please do not hesitate to contact me. Um, if you're not following me on social media at X at X force global, please do give me a follow there because I do a lot of my updates there as well. So hopefully that was helpful, ladies and gentlemen. Not too much to update, but for the time being, everything is looking pretty strong, pretty darn good right now. We did hit that 886 Fibonacci or the 88.6%. I think that we're going to be going further higher until um, proven otherwise, until we break this low. For the time being, we'll stick with the narrative, see how we can do it. Um, hopefully that was helpful, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.